Lesson 9.7 is about circles and lengths of segments. So the first theorem is about when two chords intersect inside of a circle. And when they do, the product of one chord segments equals the product of the other chord's segment lengths. So in this example here, the length of AB when I'm sorry, the length of A when multiplied by the length of B will be equal to the length of segment C multiplied by segment D. In the next theorem, when we have two secants that are drawn through a circle from an external point, as the blue uh, secants are in this diagram, that um, the length of the segments, the whole, se the whole secant uh, length as shown here in, uh, as A, of one secant when multiplied by the external piece of the secant that's outside the circle, so A times B, will always be equal to the whole other secant times the external piece of that secant, so in this case C times D. So the product of whole times external piece will be equal to the product of whole times external piece. And the third theorem in this lesson has to do with when you have a secant segment and a tangent segment drawn from a point external to the circle, through the circle. So in this case, um, what the result is that the product of the whole secant times the external part is equal to the tangent segment squared, that length. So in this case with this diagram, uh, A times B, the whole secant times the external piece of the secant that's outside the circle, is equal to the square of the tangent, so C squared, that length squared, and that will always be true. So now on to some examples. Uh, in this example, we have uh, two chords that intersect inside of a circle. So I know that this, the product of the segments of one chord are, is equal to the product of the segments of the other chord. So in this case, the chord that has the, the segment that's 3 long and x long, so that product, 3 times x, will be equal to um, 6 times 4, the product of the segment lengths of the uh, other chord. So 3x is 24, so x that piece that segment that's uh, x will be 8 long. Okay, in this example, same thing. I've got a circle with two chords intersecting inside of it. And so uh, the segments of one chord being uh, x when multiplied by the other piece of that chord, 8 minus x should be equal to 3 times 4. So I'll have 8x minus x squared is equal to 12. And this is quadratic, so I'm going to get everything on the side uh, where x squared will be positive. So I'll add x squared to both sides, and I'll subtract 8x from both sides. And we'll factor this. And this is going to factor to x minus 6 times x minus 2. So my solutions, my roots, possible roots, will be positive 6 and positive 2. And actually, x could be equal to either of those, um, you know, because it, uh, the product of those two will end up being 12. Uh, but if this is drawn to scale, it's probably that... Um, x is 2, um, and then the segment that's 8 minus x, which looks a little longer in the drawing, would be 6. But they both will work, because we don't know if this figure is drawn to scale or not. So x could be 6 or 2. Okay, in the next example, I have two secants drawn through the circle, two secant segments, uh, for, drawn to the circle from an external point. And uh, so this is the one where the external times the whole, uh, or the, the whole piece times the external piece equals the whole piece times the external piece. So in this case, um, 8 times x 
will be equal to 12 times 4. So I'll have 8x is equal to 48. So x is equal to 6. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale because that would make the part inside the circle, too. But you get the idea. Okay, in this next example, same thing. We have two secant segments drawn through a circle from a point external to the circle. Uh, and I, this is where the external piece times the whole thing equals the external piece times the whole thing. So I want to label here the whole thing on this top secant is the segment that's 6 plus the segment that's x, so x plus 6. And the whole thing on the bottom segment here is 12. So I have um, external piece, which is x plus 6, times, I'm sorry, the whole thing times the external piece, which is 6 on one, will be equal to 12 times 5 on the other. So we get 6x plus 36 is equal to 60. So 6x is equal to 24. So x will be equal to 4. Okay, in this example, we have a secant segment and a tangent segment drawn to the circle from a point exterior to the circle. So this is the one where we look at the secant segment and the whole times the external part is equal to the square of the tangent segment length. So in this case, um, 9 times x will be equal to 6 squared. Okay, whole times uh, external piece equals tangent squared. So, of course, 9x is 36, and x will be equal to 4. Okay, in this example, same thing. We have a secant segment and a tangent segment drawn to a circle from a point external to the circle. So the um, whole whole secant times the external piece will be equal to the tangent squared. So the whole secant length uh, is 6 plus 2, or 8, across the whole thing. So the external piece of 8 times the, I'm sorry, the whole secant of 8 times the external piece of 2 should be equal to the tangent squared. So of course x squared is equal to 16, and so x will be equal to positive and negative, square root of 16, positive and negative 4, but because it has to be a segment length, it's going to be a, a positive 4. Okay, for the last example, same thing. Tangent segment and secant segment drawn from a point outside the circle. So I want to take the entire uh, secant times the external piece. So the, what is the length of the entire secant from here to here. Whoops, it's 4x. It's 3x plus x. So a whole secant 4x times the external piece, which is x, should be equal to the tangent of 10 squared. So 4x squared equals 100. So uh, dividing by 4, x squared is 25. So x will be equal to the positive and negative square root of 25, which is 5, but I see that it has to be, or 5 and negative 5, I see it, um, it has to be positive because it's a segment length, so x is 5. And that is it for circles.